Right, welcome to Life Hacks, Biohacking Life Hacks. So we have Jitin Patel here, and this man is you're you're a, you're a mental health coach, right? Mental health and mindfulness coaching. Okay. Corporate leadership training. Mm, yes. Mean, what does it actually mean? <clears throat> it means I go into corporate spaces and I work with the employees and uh, to support them with their mental health in and outside of the workspace for them to have a very balanced work life balance essentially um and we're supporting people men particularly uh suicide rates going down we work alongside human resources department and these corporate uh, organizations and essentially um feeling much more up for it in their lives and improving improving staff morale productivity and uh lessening the, the turnover for employees uh you know uh coming in the companies um, and I also do individual, private, one-to-one -one live coaching as well. People, um, yeah, that's me. And, and why did you want to become this um, mental health coach? Uh, since I was three years old, really, I realized that uh, uh, I wanted to uh, do something that um, you know I wouldn't be able to spell. So mindfulness is, is one of those things. Mm, it's a big uh, word. Is it is it two L's? Is it two S's? Is it one? Is there a hyphen between mind and full? And why is it mindful? Why do, would you want to have your mind full? Is it mindlessness instead of mindfulness? Mm. Um, uh, no, it's really because, um, yeah, I had a bit of a fallout working in the corporate sector myself mm. and had my own uh, bout of mental health challenges and uh, working in uh, London City and... Uh, yeah, working in the industry of, it was actually fashion and marketing at the time, and just not really, um, yeah, you know, fell out of kind of line with that type of work in terms of where I was at mentally, and I didn't really have any support. Like, there was no mental health support in the world at that time. You know, this was years ago. And so being a qualified life coach and having my own experience of, lived experience of mental health challenges, and also being into mindfulness, meditation, yoga, spirituality, myself, I kind of put those together to create mental health and mindfulness coaching. And now I also work in creative arts as well in terms of coaching. So using my coaching framework to support creative artists who want to bring out much more the creativity into the world. And that's coming from over 20 plus years of being a creative artist myself as a poet, as a comedian, as a rapper, as an actor, as a writer. Um, so, yeah. And, and, and what insights have you gained with your, when you go into corporations? What kind of problems do you come across and what are the solutions to them? So, firstly, with the companies that um, I've faced a bit of a, not really a willingness for my type of work or coaching style to come into the organization because it kind of puts HR's back up. Like, oh, who's this guy coming in and supporting our staff when actually we're supposed to be already doing this? So it's a bit of put it to shame. So I have been met with resistance, some openness in some, in some spaces, especially outside of the UK. I've definitely felt there's much more openness towards that America, especially, Africa. Yeah, 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 Europe, you yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. And, uh, but in terms of corporate employees, like, you know, what is this guy trying to change your life with like some breathing and mindfulness? What is that about? Like, you know, like I just want to get the job done and go home, you know? And uh, yeah, you want to get the job and go home, but you're going to bring your work home with you, you know? And when you're at home, you're not able to fully relax and be, you know, who you are outside of the workplace. You know, all you're thinking about is getting in that deadline in on time and like all those things. So... I met with openness in terms of me, how I deliver my sessions. So I use my comedic background to uh, break the ice, to have a few jokes with the people that I'm working, delivering the sessions to. And it looks like me delivering workshops, trainings, uh, which consists of mental health, uh, sorry, a mindfulness uh, mental health toolkit, which I offer. And then practices and exercises that you can do yourself in and out of the workplace just to kind of you know reconnect with back reconnect yourself back with who you are and so like, what, what kind of uh, practices like what would like let's say if i was yeah, your client right 
what would you get have what would you get me to do so i would just check it ask you to uh see how you're feeling within yourself and uh, see, see most men don't know the answer to that question yeah yeah uh, so i would say well you don't need to know, know the answer to the question mm. uh and i would just start with like how are you doing you know H how are you feeling how are you doing just how are you doing so you start with how are you doing in the, in the, in the so that's what i could ask in that so yeah. if if if, uh, if it's met with like i don't know what you're talking about yeah that's what I would so i don't do start with that first of all yeah. you have a laugh like how was your weekend mm. carnival the that's other easier day. to deal with yeah. yeah yeah managed to get through anywhere 15 pounds for a, a jerk chicken and you know rice and, and I'm vegan and I bloody bought that, you know? <laughs> As an example, you know, yeah. um, just, to, just to lighten the mood. So we don't, we, we don't get into that just yet, you know? But it's essentially, you know, feeling a bit more lighthearted within yourself with this comedic element, with this, like, you know, bant, you know, banter and breaking the ice yeah. for us to just be able to create, like, a synergy, a harmony that we're on the same page, you know? You might think I've just come in to do this training because your boss has decided that oh you gotta go in nine o'clock Monday morning and have a boardroom office with this guy you don't know about. But actually just come in to just get to know you, you know, and for you to maybe, you know, think about some of the things that might res uh, resonate with you. And if there's anything that doesn't, well it's okay, you can just leave it on the side, you know. But I'm here to support your well being. Um from the experience that I realised that I didn't really have a lot of support in this way, you know. So it starts with, um, you know, just what, like having a few laughs and jokes and stuff like that. And then after lunch, for example, there's so much more warmth to it, you know, because we've, we've built a relationship, we've built a dynamic, we've built some, some sort of synergy with each other. And then, you know, I just ask you just to take a few, couple, few deep breaths as you come back in, you know, just send to yourself. Don't need to go, hey, how was lunch? Or what did you have? Or, you know what, Arsenal's playing, whatever. Yeah, that's all going to continue on even after you, you know, uh, have a chat with your colleague or your friend or whatever it is, you know. Mm -hmm. But like, how are you doing? So just, you know, you could know that just by sensing or observing, noticing how you might be feeling. Do you have any pain in your way? Do you have any lightness? Where is it in your body? You know, on a scale of one to ten, how much is it? Like if it's shoulder pain, all right, like a ten is really aching so much, I can't even lift it. One is just slightly, you know. So just doing a body scan as well. So these sorts of things might be new and not so much, um, you know, frequently verbalized or people, you know, aware of these kind of terms or, you know, uh, ways of putting these things like doing a body scan, taking a few deep breaths. Um, but we, we breathe all the time. I'm just asking you to take a few deeper breaths. That's all it is. Wim Hof. You know? <laughs> yeah. Did you do Wim Hof breath? Was that a bit of German? Wim Hof. Wim Hof is Dutch. Right, right. Yeah. He does a yeah. uh, deep. No, I know who he is. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, I did he's... this morning. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know, breath is the naturalest thing that we've got going on in the world. You know, it's, the world. it's a natural high. It gives you a yeah. natural high, yeah. Your heart is beating all the time. Yeah. Just, just, just notice it. Mm. You know, just okay. notice it.